Well, parts of Wood County were slammed by storms last night, including Grand Rapids. Yeah, Laura Sandlin was there earlier tonight to see the damage firsthand. I spoke with business and homeowners who tell me the damage was extensive from pieces of their roofing and siding flying off to down trees in their yard. They say they were left without power for hours. Kevin Ullman describing last night. We went to bed at about 11 o'clock, still didn't have power. We're assuming uh, we've heard a couple different people speculate, but sometime around two o'clock in the morning, uh, we woke up to air conditioning and the lights were on. At Wildside Restaurant, all of our fridges went down, so we had to get rid of all of our food, so that was a huge loss for us. Grand Rapids experienced significant damage following the storm, leaving thousands without power. Wildside bar manager Hannah Ludwig says the storm caused the restaurant to close, hurting business. Today, they started repairs. It's kind of a big deal because even if you're missing out on a couple days, those sales are huge for an employees and the owner. People come out and then they get bummed out because we're not open. Ullman says despite the storm, he's grateful no one was hurt and that this provided a way for folks to connect. There's a lot of good that came out of this too and nobody was hurt as far as I know that we've heard throughout the community. So it's unfortunate that a lot of times it's these kind of events that, that can help each other out. And uh, we had late into the evening, 25 people out here hauling debris around and we've helped other neighbors. Despite the circumstances, community members tell me that it was a good opportunity for neighbors to help one another out. Reporting in Grand Rapids, Laura Sandlin, WTOL 11.